In this video, we'll model a screw that looks like this. We'll do so using geometric shapes and a shape generator. Click on geometric and drag a cylinder into the work plane. We're going to drag all these shapes into the correct proportions, more so than input numbers. We can always scale it to size later. So there's the shank. You need to drag a work plane into the surface before adding in another shape. Now let's drag a cone on top of that work plane. and then rotate both of them. Now let's drag a cylinder on top of the work plane and change its proportions. Drag another work plane in and drag a half sphere. And let's adjust its proportions as well. Click each part and hold the shift key down so that you can select them all. Then click on adjust, align, and align them along their centers. Let's group them all. Now let's put the cross at the top. First, bring in a work plane, bring in a box, and adjust its proportions. Select it, hit Control C, Control V to make a copy and move the copy aside. Rotate the copy 90 degrees group the two parts together then center them and again we'll use the align tool Select, hold shift, select this piece, adjust, align, center. Move it down. Turn it into a hole. And then group the two parts together. Now let's put a thread on the shank. Let's go to the community shape generators. On page three, there's a tread generator. Drag it in. and adjust it. And 
and when you have it the way you want, group it all together. Now, go to your dashboard Click Download for 3D Printing, download it as an STL, and then import it into Design. Let's see if we can make it a solid. And there you have it.